Louis, at last. You wanted to see me? Let's get it over with, shall we? I've grown tired of all this. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, he won't be needing it anymore, and I prefer to put it back in its place. I no longer have it. Didn't Monsieur Bonaparte give it back to you? No. So, the rascal stole it from you, did he? Uh, it's not something I'm proud to admit, but yes. He thought I was trying to rob you and that it would compromise the conference. Oh, how typical of him. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I won't hide the fact that I was disappointed that you did not succeed in saving Jacques Peru. You handled that situation very badly. As for the door of my crypt, no one had ever found out how to open it before you. You committed a serious mistake in proving unable to tell your sisters apart, causing the death of the most promising of the two. I remain proud of what you achieved for me by falsifying that letter to the Pope on behalf of Piaggi, because I know that was not an easy task. But the important thing is that you escaped the worst with Volner, because he could have killed you when you were in the guise of Piaggi. Yes, it was a bit touch and go. Which leads me to a chat about what I envisage for you now. You are the chosen one, Louis. The one I've been waiting for all this time. Thank you, I... We are going to be able to become one. Hmm, I, I don't quite follow you. Be proud of yourself, son, for you are the one I have chosen to be my next mortal coil. I... I... but... what about me? Am I imagining things, or did he just tell me to my face that he's going to eat me? Unfortunately, no, you won't survive the transfer. But I want you to know that I only select my bodies from my own children and that you are the one who has impressed me most. It's far from being my first time, as you can imagine. I didn't think it was possible to find a more promising son than dear Augustus. You can be very proud of yourself. W wait a second, hang on. Do you realize what you're saying? Are you insane? Oh, come, come, my son. Let's not end everything on a bad note, please. Son of a bitch. He's not going to get away with this so easily. I won't let you do it. What on earth are you thinking? That you'll be able to kill me? This is ridiculous, Louis. Come now, be reasonable. You're not gonna get away with this. That's quite enough. Who do you think you are? Be reasonable and let yourself go. It will save you a lot of pointless suffering, believe me. Don't fight. <laughs> I won. So, at the insistence of Monsieur Bonaparte, I put it back in its place. Come, Louis. You, you can't do that to me. Don't be childish, please. Come on. Of course. Here you are, Father. Thank you. You wouldn't have been able to do much with it anyway, given it isn't the right one. You mean I got the wrong one? Now don't blame yourself. There was a reason why I put it with all those copies. If you had been forced to use it, 
he would never have prevented one of us from changing bodies. Yes. Of course. Here you are, Father. Thank you. Congratulations, by the way. You managed to find the right one among all the copies. I'm impressed. Ah, there you are at last. Excuse me, I... Sir Gregory's death... Must have upset your plans. Yes, I should think so. Given that you gave him your allegiance. But I did warn you to choose sides carefully. But you didn't tell me you were planning to kill him, you snake. You wish to speak to me? Yes. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I was impressed by your intervention to prevent Peru from killing himself. You remind me of myself when I was starting out. As far as the door of my crypt is concerned, it is a pity that you lost your hand while trying to open it. You succeeded in telling the Hillsborough twins apart. Even for me, that wasn't an easy thing to do at first. I won't lie to you, I was surprised and above all disappointed when I found out you had tried to discredit me with His Holiness by writing a letter to the Papal States. Damn it. He found out. Anyway, now it's time to put an end to things once and for all, Louis. The poison that runs through your veins has definitively deprived you of the hopes I had placed in you through your own faults. Don't you worry about it, Father. I'm a demon, and I'm your son. I'll make it through. I don't think so. There must be an antidote, right? I'm afraid it's too late, at least for the continuation of my project. I'll be honest with you, Louis, though it pains me. Your body is corrupted. The poison has been spreading inside you for too long. It has already caused irreparable damage. You are of no use to me now. I beg your pardon? You see, when the time comes for me to change bodies, I usually pass into the body of one of my children. The transition is much smoother and allows me to be operational much more quickly. Seeing the good work you had done since your arrival, I was convinced I had found my next body. Could only be you. Then you had to go and ruin everything. And ruin Father, everything. Father, why are you telling me this? Not after all I've done, I, I beseech you. Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Go and ruin everything. You dirty bastard. That's what you had planned for me all along, isn't it? I was never anything more than the envelope for your next life. Oh, please, do let us try and retain some dignity, shall we? Let's not fall prey to being pathetic. We're better than that. You bastard! Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Now I'll ask you to leave me and be gone within the hour. Moreover, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a single second in sterile conversation, because I'm not so sure that poison will even let you see the French coast again. You damned... I should have never listened to you! Rotten hell! Admit, you did give us a run for our money. Huh? What? A page has been torn out. He's not going to get away with this so easily. I must make him get closer to me. Come now, don't complicate things. Wait, I have something else you want. Well, look at that. You found it. Hmm. Decidedly, you are very resourceful, Louis. You impress me right up to the very last. For Al-Azif, I am willing to get closer. Oh, no! Ah, ah, ah. 
<laughs> Congratulations, my son. You had a backup plan. Well, I did learn from the best. What a pity you got the wrong lance. Hmm? Uh, I... Holy shit. Leave me. Like father, like son. Wait, no, uh... the blood of an ancient. <laughs> I, I was right, my son. You really are the very best. yourself, Uncle. You're just as bad as he is. Despite being centuries old, and despite all the wisdom you should have... You can count on... Louis, it's over for me. It's up to you now to protect our family. Find your sister, Louis. She'll know what to do. What are you saying? Find her. Well, I hope Emma is fully recovered. I Emma, excuse me for turning up Louis, like... Louis, your timing is perfect. I'm not so sure. Home is dead. Killed by Mortimer? How'd you know that? Holm. He warned me that it was probably going to happen. Looks like she's better. Louis, I have brought Emily back from the ether. I beg your pardon? It was the last thing Holm did, as if to give us a chance of making it through. He guided me step by step just before he disappeared. Unfortunately, I could only bring her back in the body of a servant. Are you serious? You brought her back in the body of a man? Have you seen many women on the island? No. So I had to make do, and anyway, she'll have all the time she needs to find another body if we get out of here alive. I don't think now is the right time to be cherry-picking bodies. I don't want to rush you, but time is short. We are in great danger. When Holmes sensed his death was imminent, he warned me that we would be next. It was to be expected. But why attack us? Good God! I know what he's thinking. He's obsessed with Cronus and Zeus. That's true, but what's the connection? He thinks he's both. Now one, now the other. What do you mean? Looking at the statue in the Great Hall, it's easy to imagine him as Zeus. And by doing away with his brother, he's about to start a war of the gods. I'll bet he's planning to attack his father, Emma. And besides that, he also thinks he's Cronus devouring his children to ensure that none of his sons will turn against him. Hmm. In mythology, Kronos doesn't attack his daughters, if I remember rightly. Are you serious? Do you really want to take that chance? No, no, I was just saying. You can count on us. You wouldn't know how to defeat an ancient, child-eating, all-powerful demon, would you? Well, believe it or not, he gave me the answer himself. We're gonna need the blood from a demon older than him. 
and it just so happens that I have the Holy Lance. It touched the blood of Christ. What's the connection? <laughs> You're not trying to say that Christ is... I'll have to ask you to trust me on this one. Once this is over, we'll all have a few bones to pick, but for the time being... All right, all right, we'll follow you. Good, let's go then. Are you sure you're ready? You're all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. It's... it's all a bit strange. Sister, I believe we're ready for the end game. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? No, not yet. Be quick. We are waiting for you here. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, Father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, Father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going! It's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma. Are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? Careful, Emma! He's trying to manipulate you! Please tell me he's lying, right? You won't try anything against me afterward, right? Of course not! How can you doubt me? She spent her life creating this identity, day after day, playing the main role. And now you think she's going to accept becoming <laughs> your servant? How can I believe you? It was always you who chose what we wore! You always chose where we lived! I was naive to think you would ever let me have a life! Damn it! Emma's starting to have doubts. No, Emma! Look at us! This is exactly what he wants! Don't let him into your mind! If we stick together, we can beat him! Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, he's lying. Don't listen to him. He'd do anything to undermine us. No, it's true, Louis. The Emily I knew would never have accepted such humiliation. Emma, no. Trust me. She spent her life creating this identity, day after day, and playing the main role. And you think now she's going to agree to be your servant? I am sure you have already planned your vengeance. Damn it, she's yielding. No, Emma. Stay calm, I beg you. You're playing right into his hands. This is all your fault. Mortimer! Is this how you managed to manipulate your brother? Now, now, Louis. Don't think you can change the topic so easily. The question remains, oh. Emma. After everything Emily has been through, a life lost creating this character, do you really think she's going to just let you take over the main role? Emily, I promised you we would find you a better body. I'll do everything in my power to help you. No, 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 stop, Emma. He's trying to manipulate you. You killed her. And now you think she's just going to, what, leave it at that? I know. You will never forgive me. Don't listen to him, Emma. I swear, I mean you no harm. Oh, shit. He's succeeding. Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe you. Emma, remember? Remember everything you shared together. Remember all the times you counted on each other. You were united like no one else can be. Stay concentrated, Emma. Count on me, sister. Great. They're supporting each other. As long as Emma doesn't falter. Emma. 
My dear daughter, let me help you. You have won. Look, you have it all. You are Duchess Hillsborough. You are rich. You are young, beautiful, influential. I'm so proud of you. You are the one I've been waiting for. You know what she's like. You know she harbors vengeance in her heart. She'll never let you have all this to yourself. Never. I beseech you. Let me help you. Let me protect you, darling. Don't listen to him, Emma. Ever since the beginning, the only thing he's ever wanted is to devour us. Look what he did to his own brother. I would never lay a finger on her. She is my pride and joy. You're the one who's trying to manipulate her, Louis. You're the one who convinced her to stand here in front of me, hoping to kill me. You are peddling the lie to anyone who will listen that my sole desire is to devour your spirits. But where on earth did you get that idea? From what you did to Gregory. And then there's the paintings. I... what? What paintings? Saturn devouring his children? What? Do you mean to say your entire plan rests on a feeble interpretation of my paintings? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Emma? Emily? Is this the kind of talk he's been using to persuade you to kill me? It's... yes, he... He stares a while at my paintings, and the only thing he comes up with is that, obviously, I must be a disgusting child murderer. Please, is that the only possible conclusion? None of you consider that perhaps... I might be nothing more than a collector enamored with a particular style? No, of course not. Let's all just agree I'm a cannibal instead. That makes it so much simpler. Louis. He has a point, Louis. You're the one who brought us here. Why? Tell us why we shouldn't believe him. This is all your fault. No, Emma. Stay concentrated. To hell with your plan! On the contrary, Emma. Emily will be able to exist by herself. Once she's changed bodies, you'll finally be able to live your own separate lives. No more resentment or comparisons ever again. We'll be free at last, Emma. Perfect. Emily, you have always... And you... you... Emma, Emily, don't believe a single word of what he's saying. You both braved hell together. United, and that's the only way we can get out of here. Louis is right, Emma. Yes, you are right, Louis. We will not be misled by this kind of manipulation, Father. Good. We stand firm. If this continues, Mortimer won't have any hold on us. Emma, my dear daughter, let you have one. You, you, you know. Emma, he's a snake. Don't believe him. He doesn't love us. Oh, speak for yourself, my son. Just because you are a great shame to me doesn't mean she is, too. She is my masterpiece. Emma, no, he's lying. Shut up. Why does it bother you so much that he could love me? Emma, he's only trying to bring us down. Without you, we're lost. You're jealous. Go on then, Louis. Prove to me he's lying. Don't believe him, Emma. Look at what he did to Gregory, his own brother. You have no idea who he really was. I knew him. I endured his bullying. He was a vicious manipulator. Look at yourselves. Why are you here? Who persuaded you to kill me? Your very own father. Don't you think that since your arrival here, at my home, if I really wanted to kill you, I would have had every opportunity? Louis. No, Emma. Don't believe him. But Louis, it's true. Who persuaded us to attack him? Who whispered a plan in our ears? What can you say to dispute that? This is all your fault. No, Emma. Stay concentrated. To hell with your plan! Emma! Louis manipulated us, Emily! Open your eyes for crying out loud! Stop! Emma, no! What on earth are you doing? Let him deal with father himself! It is not my problem! Louis, no! I should never have trusted you again! We've lost everything because of you! Here, my daughter. I'm proud of you. 
You know what to do if you want to make sure she never betrays you again. Don't listen to him, Emma! Emily gave you her word that she would leave you the Duchess. Have faith in her. Your efforts are futile, father. I have faith in my sister. And me in her. Perfect. They won't let themselves be taken in. Emily, you have all been you. you. You're wrong, father. You don't know your daughters very well. After what Emma has gone through, I can assure you, She's much more resilient than her sister. Yes, it's true. She would never have borne up to a quarter of what I had to go through. Wait, so that's what you think of me? Uh, no, Emily, it's, it's not so what I- So this is our partnership. I'm but a pale reflection of my sister, is that it? No! Excuse me, Emily, that's not what I meant. Believe me. Emma, my dear daughter, let me help you. You- You- You, you know what I- be Emma, look at her. Look at Emily. You know her. She knows you. But I... Go on. Look at her. It is her. She loves you. She's counting on you. Emma, help us. My sister. Get him! No! Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over. You've lost. No, 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 stop! Oh. Oh. <laughs> My son. Come, Louis, it's over. Let's leave. After you. Emily? Yes. What's happening, Louis? You look... I... Ho Holm is dead. Good God, he did it! What do you mean? He warned me that Mortimer would probably try to get rid of him. He couldn't believe it himself, but we have to admit that he was right to be wary. We are in great danger, Louis. Wait, what are you talking about? When Gregory came to warn me, he assured me that we would be the next to go down. I don't understand. Why would Mortimer attack us? His brother, then his children. He feeds on us. Pardon me? The bastard! It's been right under our noses all this time, Emily. Saturn devouring his children, and without Gregory to obstruct him. Now, we're easy prey. No, no, it's, it's impossible. No. He's insane, Emily. But, but don't worry. We're together now, and he doesn't know that we know. Which means that we have the advantage. When I brought up the possibility of us running away as quickly as we could, Gregory dissuaded me. He thought that Mortimer would see it coming, and that we would have no chance. I guess I agree with him, and now we're here. I'm not gonna let him get away with it. There's two of us now, Emily. We can count on each other. Well, on that note, I haven't told you everything, Louis. This might be a bit hard for you to accept, so I wanted to warn you. There are three of us. Surprise, brother. Excuse me? It's Emma, Louis. Just before he disappeared, Holm explained to me how to bring her back from the ether. We were pressed for time and- And the only body she could find was one of those cursed servants. Can you believe it? Emma, don't start, please. I didn't exactly have much of a choice. Be that as it may, I'm the one inside the body of a masked lackey. I had to deal with the most urgent thing first. We'll try and get you out of there as soon as we can. Just as I promised you. And I'll make sure you make good on your commitment, sister. Emma, for the last time... She is better, don't worry. Being a demon changes many things, and the prospect of getting stuck in the ether for eternity has opened her eyes. Frankly, Emily, you're asking a lot from me. We don't have the choice, Louis. Trust me, I have faith in her. 
Are we ready? Can we go now? Louis, at this point, it doesn't matter what you think about me. You need me. I'm guessing you are well aware of what we're about to face, aren't you? Not really. No. That's just what gives us a chance, is it not? It's usually the only argument the Reckless have in their favor. Take heart. We're only about to confront an age-old creature that can read our thoughts and force us to act against our will and wants to devour us. So what's the problem? If that is your attitude, I suggest we reevaluate the possibility of running away. Stop it. Let's all just calm down. Only a few minutes ago, it was just the two of us. Things are looking up. Our chances are only getting better. How do we get rid of him then? Killing him won't change a thing normally. He is capable of changing bodies. I know how to kill a demon. And the irony of it is, he's the one who revealed it to me. We have to make him touch the blood of an older demon in order to encase him in his mortal body. This is the only way that might give us a chance of dealing him a fatal blow. And I've got the Holy Lance. What's that got to do with demons? Christ was his father. Believe me, if we get out of here alive, I'll have a lot of juicy details to tell you about the family. This lance actually received the blood of an ancient demon, and it can work on Mortimer. Let's do it then. Are you sure you're ready for this? Will you be all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. Don't worry about me. As you wish. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, Father. Hmm, Emma. You brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, Father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going! It's working! Get him! Oh, Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over! You've lost! No, no! No, stop! Oh! oh. My son, you will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. Again. Sir Gregory has been poisoned! What? Uh, Who uh, dares attack my son? <laughs> it would seem it was Lord Mortimer! William, that vile little traitor. Oh, he dared overstep our family rules. No member of the family will you kill the dog. He will pay for this. No, Louis, no. The longer you remain in his presence, the more danger you're in. Just get out of here. Wait. I have a proposal to make to you. I'm listening. William has to pay for what he did. He had no right. No one must ever attack a member of one's own family. That is the law. If you don't want to be involved in all this, let me enter your mind. When the time comes, I will just step in. 
You mean, like with Elizabeth? Elizabeth was not part of our family. She didn't get any choice. But you can't say it worked out well for her. What's to say that once inside, he won't stay there? If I ask my children to respect the rules, then I must do so as well. So, do you accept my proposal? Very well. I accept. Good. Pursue your goal now. When the time comes, I will take care of William. My head! Oh, it hurts like hell! Oh, I hope I've made the right choice. You can still do something, Louis. Don't worry, son. Father? I am here. You can go in peace. Father, I am sorry. Don't be. You've been infallible right to the end. I am proud all those years watching you grow into who you are today. But father, I almost... No. If your brother had not been so malicious, you would still be with us. I am here now. I am going to take care of him. <gasps> Count on me to... Stop! All of you! Leave now! Ah, William! Calm down, Louis. How dare you? Louis? Your own brother. I... Father? Gregory should have never trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. No, not now. It's pointless trying to run. Louis. There's something I'd like to understand before we go any further. What is it that you'd like to know? First. Know that you are not responsible for your father's errors. However, you must answer for your own actions. Uh-oh. I better tell him what he wants to know. Tell me, Louis. What is your share of responsibility in all this? Nothing at all. I, I was invited here to look for my mother who had gone missing. You mean your sister? I didn't know that at the time. In any case, I didn't know anything about any of this. I'd never even met your two sons. And the more time went by, the more the trap closed around me. But you've survived so far. You can be proud of that. When you got wind of William's plans about the conference, did you tell Gregory? To tell you the truth, I really don't think so. It seemed like just a detail, given that it was impossible for William to win the vote. There were too many of us behind Gregory for him to lose. No, Louis. Indeed, you did warn him. You can trust me. If you have nothing to feel guilty about, then there's no reason to be afraid to tell me the truth. So then, what did you do to thwart William? That just shows that you weren't there. And you, what did you do to prevent all this from happening? How many centuries has your son been like this? It didn't all just start yesterday, did it? When I listen to you talk, it feels like I'm listening to him. We are almost done here, Louis. Tell me, in your opinion, what should I do with William? You may as well do to him what he did to Gregory. That would end his existence, once and for all. He deserves it. Are you sure? We have to eliminate him once and for all. He deserves to die. Are you sure? Now I know all I need to know. You had everything you needed to understand, but you only dabbled where you should have been devoted. What do you mean? As a member of our family, you have certain responsibilities, such as, for example, learning all about our customs and our rules. If you had bothered to learn these things, 
things, you would have known that it is forbidden to attack a member of our family. And if we want our rules to be respected, we must abide by them without any exceptions. There is too much of him in you. I therefore condemn you, Louis de Richet. No, 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 wait! I condemn you to the eternal light. You will be entombed alive forevermore. But you, you lied to me! Give me another chance! Never. You will never see the light of day again. Uh, uh, no! Nothing. Nothing at all. I, I haven't done anything that would make me responsible for all this chaos. Too busy seeking solace in the skirts of your sister, perhaps. <laughs> you have forgotten that you followed William during the conference where his only motive was to attack our family. Did you not seek out the Lance of Longinus? The very Lance that pierced my side? The one you thought you could kill demons with? Yes, you are very much involved in all of this, young Louis. There is no point in you denying the truth. When you got wind of William's plans about the conference, did you tell Gregory? Ever since I got here, I haven't stopped giving him advice to protect him from Father's plans. Not once did no, I- Ah, you are trying to manipulate. Stop this at once! Do not take me for a fool. So then, what did you do to thwart William? When William asked me to enter Piaggi's mind in order to send a false letter to the Pope to discredit Gregory, I didn't do it. Without telling William, I wrote a very different letter instead. I see. Congratulations. You did dare to take a few risks. We are almost done here, Louis. Tell me, in your opinion, what should I do with William? I think you should bury him alive. For an eternal being, I think that punishment would be fitting. Because according to the family rules, we're not allowed to kill a family member. I certainly agree with you on that point. He deserves no less. I see you have understood. Thwart William. When Sarah told me about the power of the Lance of Longinus, I made every effort to find it in order to eliminate it. And look at what it has cost me. I've sacrificed myself by trying to put an end to his plans. Can't you see that? You could not have given a worse answer. We are almost done here, Louis. Tell me, in your opinion, what should I do with William? Give him one more chance. I'm sure there's still some good left in him. But he killed Gregory. I know, I know. But killing William won't bring him back. You don't understand. There are rules. I know what he wants to hear. According to the family rules, we're not allowed to kill a family member. I congratulate you, Louis. You have understood. I believe you have earned a place in our family. I cannot wait to introduce you to the others. But first of all, William must pay for everything he has done. Let's go, now. It's time to get this over and done with. William! Gregory should never have trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. You evil little cockroach. No, father. Wait. It's over, my son. You've gone too far this time. Oh, father. By the way, I have a little surprise for you. Ah, now what have you done? Let me introduce you to my new servants. You know, I have studied our talents closely, 
And as you see, they Do you are... really think that mutilating your servants so that they can't hear is going to save you? Well, I admit that was the idea. You are pathetic. On your knees. Ah, I can feel you entering. Your ego has always been your weakness, my son. You are your worst enemy. When will you understand that no lock is impenetrable? I... No! If you're the only one who can master them, all I need to do is master you. Stop! No! You gambled. You lost. Look, Louis. Look at him. You broke the most important of our family rules, William. The one that gives meaning to all the others. Thou shalt not kill. Never ever kill a member of our family. What's going to happen to him? He will be buried alive. But don't worry about that. It is over. Everything that belonged to him is yours now. And I am proud to welcome you among us. Thank you. You deserve to join us, Louis. You have great potential and many things to learn. Come. Come to me. I'm coming.